Hello and welcome to another episode of Plus Office Studio. And today, as you can see, the winter in Korea is really cold and the sky is really dim. So we're gonna go into that grand greenhouse in Cheonggyeonggung and we're gonna have a look at this Canon FD. So let's have a look. This particular camera that I have today is the Canon FDQL and this camera is introduced in 1966 and this camera has the following up model which is the Canon FDBQL and both camera are SLR camera which is the single lens reflex camera and this camera shares the lens mount of FL mount and as you can see this lens adapting is a little bit different than other camera because normally the lens in other camera you put it and then you rotate the lens but this camera you match the red dot on the top and then you rotate this ring back ring and the lens gets stuck and the particular model of this lens that I have today is the Canon FL lens with 50 millimeter 1.4 and this lens features aperture of 1.4 to 16 and this camera is run by battery and also has shutter speed of both mode to all the way to one thousandth of second and to load the film to this camera is a little bit different than other camera normally in other camera you open and pull this lever on the top and the back get open but this camera you have to rotate this lever on the bottom and then the back gets open and one interesting feature about this camera is that this quick loading system so it get easier to load the film and today the film that we are using is the Kodak Color Plus 200 and I will load the film normally you can take about 36 photos but if you put it really neatly then you can sometime you can take it photo about 36 to 38 so you put the film and then you put this lever so it gets stuck and then you pull the film out and then put it and then check whether this wheels the films on the wheel and then when you close it and Rotate the lever and you're done. You're ready to shoot. So when you finish taking all the photos, you press the button on the bottom 
and then you start rewinding from the top it takes long as always yep so when everything's rewind you open the back as before and you take the film out oh. and you're ready to get a photo So let's talk about this camera and the film. The photos taken by this camera, I haven't thought it will turn out great because my expectation was very low on this camera. I bought this camera really, 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 really cheap, like $20. And although outside looks okay as a mint, but the inside was rusted and the lens were in fungi. So I had to send this camera to the repairing shop. And the repairing cost cost me more than what I paid for this camera. And the repairing shop guy told me this camera was designed for the professional in 1960s and the lens were designed for the black and white photo because at that time they didn't have the color photos. So I didn't thought this camera will present really nice color photos but eventually it turns out to be really nice. The colors were really really warm and smooth and I like those kind of colors and I like those kind of photos. And the background bokeh was very 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 satisfactory i own quite a lot of different brands um prime lenses here prime lens means like 50 millimeter 1.4 but the background bokeh so far for my personal opinion personal interest this is my best and i love this lens so much and the bokeh was really nice and Although this camera makes great photos, I don't recommend this camera to the beginners or my friends because um, this camera, every camera has their pro and cons. This camera's pro, yes, this produces fantastic photos, build quality is really nice, it's built like tank. And as you can hear, this sound is really, really, really nice, and I loved it. And the quick loading system is easy to load the film. But cons, yes, this camera is too, 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 too heavy. Literally too heavy. While I was taking just one roll of film, this camera <laughs> was hurting my back and neck, and my whole body just hurts. And I didn't want to carry this camera ever again. This is too heavy. They designed this camera for studio use, not maybe just portable use. So this camera is really heavy and I don't recommend people to carry around like heavy camera because um, you don't like taking photo because it's too heavy and it hurts your body. So. And there are a lot of different options in the market which is compact and light and produce really nice photos. So, if you happen to see this camera around and just grab it like $20 and just use it maybe casually, not carrying around outside, then it's okay. But if you're beginners and if you want to learn how to take photos and if you want to try the film camera um, I think this is not the one for you this is too heavy 
So next time I'll bring a very compact camera, which is point and shoot camera. And I think it's best for the um, beginners. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And I'll be here with another great episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.